Let's give it all we got. Thank you for watching this video. Unfortunately, I have to disappoint you right now because I'm not allowed to film anything in my office or even my work laptop, nothing. This is my personal laptop with a website called fakecode.com. This is also not my work calendar. And what I'll do instead is I'll show you some videos and do a voiceover and explain you what I do every day. Thank you. Ciao. Oh. Ciao. What the? You may have guessed it by now, but I'm a morning person and my morning hours are usually my most productive hours in the day. I always start by looking at my to-do list, which is structured and urgent, today, this week and later. And I've tried many different styles over the past 10 years, but I decided to make it as simple and as efficient as possible. I really try to make Notion work for me. I really try to make various to-do list apps work for me but they're too much work to keep up with. So I just have a Google Doc that I edit every morning and that's what works best for me. And I do that both in my personal life and work life. Usually the to-do list items that I have are very random and not really connected with each other because as an engineering manager, I am not only a people manager for software engineers, but also my role is to keep the whole team healthy and motivated, which means I often do random things that come up during the day to help someone on my team to be more effective. When I work from home, I try to cook lunch, which is mainly some variation of vegetables and grains. I typically don't have more than 30 minutes for lunch, so cooking crazy meals is not really an option for me. Also, I go to the office four to five times a week and I truly enjoy taking the time to cook a healthy meal for myself when I work from home. At the company that I work for, we currently have our annual performance cycle going on, which is basically a way to figure out if someone should get promoted, if they should get a raise for the work that they did in the past year, etc. So for me as a manager, I have a lot of work to do. I currently spend at least 50% of my day writing reviews, analyzing performance, looking at people's code in depth, and assessing feedback from our peers. At the same time, I also try to make sure that my team is focused on a goal that we set, and double check if any of the engineers on my team is blocked and potentially needs my help. My main priority as a manager has always been care and integrity, so I really make it my mission to be very honest, very straightforward with feedback, yet supportive and pushing at times when engineers need it. Whenever a new year starts, I also do lots of reflection. For example, I ask myself how much I'm enjoying the work that I'm doing, how much I'm challenged, or how much I've been growing in the past year. Ultimately, my goal is to start my own tech company one day and the learnings that I want from my job right now are mainly focused on effective people management, motivation and prioritizing. And those things change all the time for me because it's not a do once, do forever type of model, but more continuous growth model for me. The 50% of my day that I spend in meetings is often with the engineers that I support my cross-functional partners, such as my PM, or broader team meetings to get the team aligned. Honestly, some weeks are more stressful than others, but I learned very early in my career to take your own work-life balance incredibly seriously. And what I do for that is I set blocks on my calendar so people don't schedule random meetings for me after my working hours. After my last meeting, I usually go back to my to-do list and write down everything that I need to do for tomorrow. 
Okay, bye. When I get home from work, I literally shake it off for one to two minutes and I jump up and down, left and right, because it really helps me let go of the workday and shift me into a different energy and perspective. Hey Google, play some music. Turn off the lights. Okay, turning three lights off.